last year, today we're going to be unboxing Disney Sim Sim vinyl collectibles. I purchased these at Target and they are just so, so, so stinking cute. Seeing that it's the series one in the top right corner, I assume that they're going to come out with more in the future. And I also really like how there are three different sizes so that you can easily stack them up. So without further ado, let's get unboxing! Today we're going to be unboxing six sets and like I said there are three different sizes one larger one medium one and tiny one that comes in each set from what I've seen online there are different sets with different sizes too this is the one with three and on the back you can see that it comes with a little collector's guide Ooh. <laughs> they're all connected here is the collector's guide which is the checklist and oh my gosh there are so many of them so each character comes in three different sizes oh man it's going to take a while for me to collect all of these in total there are 26 different characters in three different sizes so you do the math 26 times 3 that's a lot of vinyl figures you have to collect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the vinyl figures out from their packaging and give you guys a closer look. My first impression upon opening them, aside from, oh my gosh, they're so cute, is that they have very, very, very strong smell. They have a very strong mix scent of plastic and paint so if you guys are planning on giving these to little children to play with then definitely vent them out like you know put them in ventilated area and get the scent out completely and then give it to the little ones even though i'm not a little one i'm definitely going to vent these out too because i don't really like the smell of paint and plastic also even though the figures are super nicely designed and they're very very cute the quality control wasn't at its best i feel like because um some of them have like little glue marks and dirt marks i'm not complaining that they're bad i'm just saying that it could be improved because i'm a toy collector i have to give you guys an honest opinion so let's take a close look at them individually now as you can see some of them i do have the big one medium one and small one some of them i do not have each different sizes so it's going to be a little mix of everything the first character i have is dumbo and i just love 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 the design of this character because look at his fat cheeks he's just so cute and so baby like his trunk is sculpted on very nicely and i love his huge ears as well they even gave him his little hat on the top and i love his little feetsies so cute oh so here's my first dumbo and i don't know if you can actually tell but he has a slight blushing on his cheeks i also got medium-sized dumbo i don't have the small dumbo yet so hopefully very soon Ooh. Look at his little tail too. So all the details are exactly the same as the big one here. It's the comparison between the two. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I cannot get over how cute these are. Then here is Mickey Mouse. He also has light blushing on his cheeks. And his colors are very bold and vibrant. And I love it. His tail is in little spiral, which is really cute. Got his little feet here, little hands here. He's very, very cute. Well, I did not get medium size or small size Mickey, but I did get tiny Minnie right here. She also has very nice vibrant colors. She has the same designed tail on the back as Mickey. She has a bow on her head, which is polka dotted. And you can see that she has little blushing on her cheeks and they even painted her little eyelashes. Here is Piglet. While most of them do not have eyebrows drawn on, this one actually has eyebrows drawn on and also sculpted on. I don't know if you can tell, but the eyebrows have a little bit of bump to it, which means that it's actually sculpted there and then they painted over them. And he also has little blushing on his cheeks. Again, very, very cute design. And the little lines on his pants are actually carved in. He's so cute. And I also got medium piglet and tiny piglet. As you can see, the details on these three figures are exactly the same. The scale's a little different, that's all. As you can see, the paint is smeared here. How cute are these three? Oh my gosh, I cannot... Oh, I cannot. Oh, so cute. Then I also got Pooh. It doesn't show really clearly on my camera, but there is a dirt mark on his forehead, which... 
Not sure if I can get it off. I will try. Just like Piglet, he also has his eyebrows sculpted and painted on. The rest of the details are very simple. No tail on the back. He's so cute. And I also got medium size and tiny size poo. Another character that I got all three sizes of is Donald Duck. And I just love, 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 love this one so much. I just love his hat detailing. I love his blushing. And I even love his little bow tie. He is so cute. So round and cute. I love it. Oh, look at his little tail too. Oh, he's just so sweet looking. And then I also got the medium size and the small size of Donald. I got large Marie from Aristocats. And you can see that they sculpted her collar detailing. She's got her little tail here. Her ears are standing up really cute. She's got her bow on the top. They even painted her little whiskers and her eyelashes. She's very cute. I also got medium sized Goofy and this one is the one that I was most disappointed on because look at his hat. That is not a small smudging, it's a major smudging and the quality control just let it through. I don't know. This is the one that's most visible but if I were to point out quality control mistakes, there are quite a bit of quality control mistakes on these figures. But somehow their adorableness kind of makes up for it but at the same time I do wish that they did a better job. Here is little Goofy which I think he is really adorable too. I also got medium Olaf and I just love his facial expression and look at his carrot nose too. So cute and I also love that they gave him little twig for his hair. He's just so cute. Look at his arms. Made with branches. And then his little feet. Here's a tiny one I got, which is Figaro. Figaro. He is just an adorable cat with blushing on his cheeks. I love this one so, so, so much. I cannot wait to get the other two sizes of Figaro. Here is another tiny one I got. And this one is Cinderella, which I am quite disappointed with. Because if you look at her eyes, they're not really even. Her eyebrows are not even either. I don't know if it shows on camera, but her blushing is really really smudged it doesn't look as bad on camera but in person the smudging is quite bad and there is paint mist job on the top other than that the sculpting is quite nice personally i think animal characters look cuter in simpson forms than human characters so i wanted to give you guys a quick comparison because these are the simpson vinyls i got before and the simpson vinyls i got this time are quite different from the ones i got before these are the ones from japan and these are the ones from jack's pacific them next to each other you can see that there is quite a bit of size difference this one is medium size by the way and also the details are quite different as well while this one is painted on details this one is sculpted on details too. The color vibrance is also very different. Jack's Pacific ones are way more vibrant than the ones I got from Japan. Here's the difference between my two Donald Ducks. This one is the one I got from Japan. This one is the one I got from Target. Jack specific but they're both really cute. Here is one more comparison between two different poos and as you can see the size is very different. You can pretty much tell when you look at it from the bottom too and like I said, the details are sculpted on this one while as it's painted on this one. They're both really cute though, don't you think? Here are the Simpson vinyl figures I got today. I would also like to add that another thing that I noticed about these figures is that also they're way easier to stack up compared to the ones I got from Japan. I cannot pick a favorite out of these because they're all so cute. I'm definitely going to try to complete this series one. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm definitely going to try. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, 